Hello everybody and welcome to, to episode 14 of PJ Church. Can you believe we're still here? But it's fine, it's Sunday, we're in our PJs, we're all comfy and hopefully you're with your family and you're ready to learn about God and Jesus today. So first of all, again. So this game is called I Went to the Shops and I Bought and it's a memory game. So in your families you need to remember what the person before you has said. So if I was the first person, I might say, I went to the shops and I bought a banana. Then the next person would have to say, I went to the shops and I bought a banana and something else, a tent. It's a very multi-purpose shop, this one that we've gone to. Then the third person would have to say, I went to the shops and I bought a banana, a tent and a chicken curry. And you keep going around in your family until the first person can't remember one of the items. Enjoy playing that together now. Stories of the Bible. Moses, God's servant. This is Moses, who was an Israelite boy born in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. By faith, Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child and they were not afraid of Pharaoh. You see, Moses lived in Egypt and the Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians. But God had a plan for his people and Moses. Moses was adopted into the Pharaoh's family and grew up in the Egyptian palace. By faith, Moses refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to share in the pain of his people rather than enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin, for he was looking ahead to his great reward. When Moses had grown up, he made a big mistake and fled Egypt for fear that he would be killed. He came to live with the Midianites for many years. One day, God spoke to Moses through a burning bush and called him back to Egypt to fulfill his plan. But Moses was afraid and didn't think he was the right man for the job. So God gave Moses his brother Aaron as a helper. So Moses went back to Egypt. He and Aaron asked Pharaoh to let God's people go. After much hardship due to the Pharaoh's hardened heart, Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and towards the Promised Land. It was by faith that Moses left the land of Egypt, not fearing Pharaoh's anger. He kept right on going because he kept his eyes on the one who is invisible. It was by faith that the people of Israel went through the Red Sea as though they were on dry ground. And then God's people wandered in the desert for many years, even though the way to the promised land only took a few days. While wandering in the desert, God gave the Israelites food to eat. What's that? And water to drink and was with them as they made their way to the promised land. God gave them many other laws and rules to live by to keep them safe and to set them apart as his own people. He gave them 10 commandments about how they should live. Through it all, God took care of his people and used his servant, Moses, to accomplish his good plan. So today we're looking at our next important character in the Bible and we're thinking about journeys, hence the tenuous link of the journey to the shop in the game. Anyway, so far we've looked at Noah, Abraham, last week Joseph, and this week we look at Moses. So this video was just a whistle-stop tour really of Moses's whole life, but Moses was a really important person in the Bible because he was chosen by God to lead God's special people out of slavery. God's special people were called the Israelites and they were slaves in Egypt for over 400 years. That is a long, long time, isn't it? And God chose Moses to take the Israelites, to take his chosen people to a land that he had promised them away from slavery. 
Now, I believe that God has given lots of people important jobs to do. And I'm not just thinking about jobs that your parents might have that are important or other jobs that you might think, oh, yeah, doctors, they're really important. And they are important. But I'm also thinking about tasks that God might give us. So, for example, I know that some people in our church are cooking for other families in our community. It's not a job, but it is a job that God has given them, a task that God has given them. So I want you to have a chat in your families now about other jobs or tasks that God might have given you or other people that you know of, things that God has asked them to do and that they've done. So God gave Moses an important job or an important task, but it took a long time. It was a journey. Moses needed lots of help from God, hence the burning bush and the food that he gave them in the desert. It wasn't just a simple off you go, do it, you'll be fine. And we might need help from God too. But in our journey of life, God will be with us and will be helping us, just like he helped Moses. Now I wonder what God might be asking you to do today. Help a friend out who's feeling sad maybe? Maybe help your parents out if they're feeling stressed. Just because you are young, it doesn't mean that God doesn't give you jobs too. I want you to listen to him today as you work out what job he might be asking you to do. We're going to pray together now about that. Are you ready? One, wiggle your fingers. Two, fold your arms. And three, bow your heads. Dear God, thank you that we are never too young to be used by you. I pray that you today you would speak to each one of us individually so we might hear the jobs you want us to do for you. Amen. Amen. You've been listening for a really, really long time. Well done. So you're going to jump up on your feet and join in with our action song now. story we thought about journeys and the journey that God might be taking us on the different things God might be asking us to do and Ollie's got a craft for you to do now and it's thinking about the different places that we visit um, in our lives and maybe what jobs God might have for us to do in those different places for this craft you will need pen or pencil, some sand, some stuff to stick on, a glue stick, and a sheet of paper. Moses's journey. He crossed the desert. Get some glue on your paper and stick some sand on it.
Where did he finish his journey? On a map at the foot of a mountain. And then draw yourself a mountain. Okay, shall I draw him? Can I just stab him? <laughs> Perfect. So what else could you do, Ollie? Or you could do your life. What I'm doing. So what's your journey, Ollie? Home. Church. Then you'll finish with something like that. I hope you've enjoyed doing all of those activities this morning. Don't forget that if you want more activities, there's a take home sheet that you can download from our website. The details are in the email that I sent you or just go to stpetersfarnborough.org.uk forward slash children and you'll find lots of activities there. Have a great week and I can't wait to see you again next week.